Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today we're going to check out the Magneto, which is a digital tape delay and spring reverb uh, from Strymon. Strymon's known, of course, for making some of the best guitar pedals out there. And now they've finally made it into the Eurorack market. I didn't want to do just a like video manual or overview of this module because that stuff's already out there. So instead, I decided to just give you my thoughts and a couple of patches on it, and uh, you can kind of make your own decision about this thing. Now, let's hear some patches first, and then we'll get into the module. This module obviously has a lot of controls on it for a delay. We've got our dry input, we've got our wet level, recording level, amount of repeats, then down here we have our actual tape heads. Now this is the volume of the tape heads for playback, and then we have selectors for those tape heads as to whether or not they're in the feedback circuit. These also double when you press the transport button, these will be your transporting heads. So you can go into infinite, you can reverse the play of it, you can hit play, you can also pause it, which is really great if you want to do those kind of tape stop effects. Uh, then down below that, we've got our low cut, tape age, crinkle, wow and flutter, and spring. So immediately right on the panel here, we've got hands-on control of pretty much everything that you would want to control on a digital tape delay. Over here we have our head modes, so we've got even, triplet, and shift. And then we have our panning modes, so you can do left, right, left, right, you can do center, and you can do, uh, you know, L, R, R, L. So, we've got a lot of options. Some of the things that I was kind of concerned about going into this module is the price point uh, is not exactly cheap. And with that being said, I started looking at some of the digital tape delay guitar pedals that are kind of aimed at a similar sound, but obviously they go for the guitar market and outboard synth market. What I found was that I tried to compare it to some of my digital delay pedals in my studio, and I was pretty quickly uh, come to the realization that Guitar pedals just won't do it as far as being able to patch up the modulation that this thing can do. I, uh, I used a Boss DD500, which I personally love, and it has a ton of MIDI control. And I was quickly frustrated at trying to do half of the modulation that Me Magneto can do. Uh, you know, and that's using it in like a doll setting where I can easily set up my, uh, my MIDI. If you try to branch that over into Eurorack, it's just not even happening. You're not even getting close to this kind of control, which is really great. The thing I love about this is uh, not just how immediate it is, but how musical it is. So I'm going to show a few more patch examples just to kind of give you an idea of why I like this thing so much. Thank you. 
So one of the first things you'll notice about when you start patching up the Magneto is that there's a lot of inputs and outputs on this thing that will get you kind of thinking. So along the right hand side here, we have our input for our speed control, our wet amount, the repeats, and then we get into these clock outs. And the clock outs are actually the timing heads for your delays, all right, these, these delay taps. And when you start inner patching that with the module itself, you start finding out some really interesting things. Like for instance, if I take, uh, we'll do clock four output, and we can send that right away into the infinite. You can get these kind of interesting swells happening. Interesting glitches, and you can really start patching it up to get some wildness. We'll go clock out three into our speed. Let's move this over now to our play direction. So again, with this module, I mean, we just have a ton of control that we're just not getting on guitar pedals. Uh, it's immediately usable. Inspiration is derived out of it really quickly. Uh, we've got over here our head positions. We can switch between even, triplet, and then we can go to our shift mode. And in the shift mode, you can really get some crazy atmospheric sounds out of this thing. So I really like kind of sending something into there. We'll go into our shift port here and send it an envelope. Again, getting back to talking about uh, just trying to compare the Magneto to other delays, what I found is, uh, you know, I've had the Rainmaker in here, and I got rid of the Rainmaker because although it had a ton of modulation options and ways of patching it, uh, I found that the actual sound of it just really didn't inspire me that much. Uh, you could do some really interesting and heady things with it, but it didn't feel as musical and uh, it, it wasn't as exciting to grab hold of the controls and just start messing with it. The Magneto, on the other hand, uh, you know, when I first looked at it, I was less excited about um, how deep I'd be able to go, but I was more excited about how much hands-on control I would have. What I ended up finding is that it actually goes really deep. Uh, you've got lots of control over things like uh you know the individual playback level you've got control over you know forward backwards tape stopping uh you know controlling your tempo speed color of it you know just a lot of a lot of hands-on immediate control without going into a menu diving aspect on top of that you've got the different modes you've got a loop mode and a phrase sampler mode as well and in the loop mode it's kind of uh, reminiscent of the Morphogene in that you can have a sound on sound mode, but you have, again, just a lot of hands-on control where you can play with the splices and the speed and everything and modulate everything very intuitively. So I really like that. Uh, I'll throw in a few more patch ideas on, uh, on this video, but I will say that for the money, I was uh, very apprehensive but after spending uh, about two weeks with the module, I discovered that, you know, there really just isn't anything else that will give you this kind of tone, immediacy, and creative feedback as the Strymon Magneto. So, uh, definitely a very cool module. This is FluxofFluxWithIt.com. Peace.